let us now learn about units. We have been talking about measurements, but a measurement without unit is meaningless. In fact, all measured quantities would have a number and a unit because without the unit, a measurement has no meaning. Take a look at this sentence. The spring was 8.2 long. If I say that to you, you would be like, what the heck are you talking about? Because if I say 8.2 long, is it 8.2 inches? Is it 8.2 miles? Is it 8.2 kilometers? Without a unit, this 8.2 has no meaning. And that is why for your lab reports, if you do not include a unit, points will be deducted because it will have no meaning. Let us now take a look at some units that we use. There are two popular units, the metric unit and the SI unit. The SI unit is also known as the international system of unit. And these are some of the quantities we measure in a chemistry lab. We measure volume in the lab. And the metric unit for volume is the liter. The SI unit is the cubic meter. Length would have a unit of meter under the metric unit and also under the SI unit. Mass has a metric unit of gram and kilogram under the SI unit. Temperature has a metric unit of degrees Celsius, but under the SI unit, temperature is measured in Kelvin. Time is in seconds under both systems of units. Let us take a look at the meaning of some of these measured quantities. What does it mean when you say the volume of a substance is, for example, 5 liter? Well, it means that you are trying to quantify the amount of space occupied by a substance. We will talk more about that when we discuss density. A very common glassware used to measure volume in the lab is the graduated cylinder. However, there are other pieces of glassware that could be used. You could use a burette. You could use a pipette. All of these could be used to determine the volume of a substance. Length is also another quantity that is measured in the lab. A common unit for length, as we already know, is the meters. But in the chemistry lab, we mostly use centimeter as the unit of length. Other units of length that are also used are inches and yard. We also measure the mass of an object in the lab. The mass of an object is a measure of the quantity of the material it contains. Essentially, a measure of how many atoms the material contains. Mostly in chemistry, we interchangeably use mass and weight. We use them as if they mean exactly the same thing. 
So in chemistry, when you see mass or weight, we are essentially talking about the same thing. Strictly speaking, they are not the same. Temperature is another quantity that we love to determine in the lab. And as you already know, a common unit that is used for temperature is the Celsius. Kelvin is the SI unit. But in the United States, we use Fahrenheit when we're talking about everyday temperature. We will learn how to convert from one unit to another.